Okay, this should be a quick video on how to figure out or use inventor's I properties to determine some physical quantities of your assemblies. So here's my yard pig, right? Right now it's made out of gold, and I may want to know some things like how big is this? What's its volume? Uh, if it was just gold plated, what would its area be? The surface area of this? That's not easy. These are some strange shapes. Try calculating it. And then also, what's the weight of this thing? How much is one of these going to weigh? Again, mine's a little bit different than yours. Mine was made on an inch scale, so it's really much smaller. So you're going to see values from mine that should be quite a bit smaller. Uh, from the assemblies or the sculptures that you made. So uh, iMovie or iProperties iMovies is really, really simple. The only thing we need to do is we gotta be on the assembly. We're gonna go up here to this little uh, i icon. I'm gonna pull it down and there it is. It says i properties. So I'm gonna hit that. And what we want for this is the physical tab here. And sometimes you might have to hit uh, update if all of these things are zero and that's how simple it is so I have mine cast or made in gold the density of gold it knows is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter and it's done all of these calculations then for me it's told me the surface area of this is a little over nine square inches the volume of this is a little less than a cubic inch so there's a pretty small sculpture at least in in an in inventor and then the mass because it's so small even though the density of gold's pretty high, it's small, the mass is a little bit less than a pound. It's 0 0.677. Remember, uh, for us, mass and weight right now are okay to be the same thing. We'll talk about the distinction of the difference soon. What if we want to change it? These are the quantities we're going to be concerned with on our final project here. Next semester, we'll be concerned with this idea of center of gravity. But when we're asked to do level three and four on our test, we're going to be looking at these things here, mass, area, and volume. I may want to change it. In fact, you will need to change it to at least one different material. So I'll hit close. How do we do that? Up here, there's a materials list. So I'm going to take this little material icon. And it gives me this whole list so I can have Inventor make my pig or whatever I make out of a whole different uh, list of built-in materials. So you see copper, concrete, different types of wood, different alloys of steel. Let's go ahead and change this. How would we do it? It's really pretty simple. So the, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, I'll just change it back to a wood here, or maybe I'll pick cherry. And it's as simple as this. I'm going to highlight the things that I want. I could choose just one piece at a time. Maybe I want to make it out of different materials. But I'm going to make the whole thing out of one material. So I'll just highlight it. And again, all I did was left click, drag that red box over it, and now it's all blue. I go over to the material that I want. So in this case, let's say I'll pick cherry. I right click it. And I say assign to section. So now when I come over here, it's changed it from gold to cherry wood. When I go into uh, I properties again, I'm going to go to physical. It has updated it and has told me here's the density of cherry wood. It's 0.63 grams per cubic centimeter. And it automatically did all of these updates. The area didn't change. Right, because I didn't change the actual sculpture. So the surface area, the amount of paint it would take, would be the same. The volume also didn't change because I didn't change any of the dimensions or the size. But of course, the mass changed because I'm cha building it out of a material with a lower density. So these are the types of things you're going to be asked to evaluate on levels three and four. And it is this simple with I properties. Okay, good luck.